On today, we'll be looking at the new Gigabyte B560 HD3 motherboard, designed for new 11th generation Intel CPUs. Good morning, welcome to Tech Interceptor. The board is a base ATX model for new Gigabyte B560 lineup designed for new 11th generation Intel CPUs. Starting from the box, we find the B560 HD3 motherboard, two SATA cables, motherboard driver disk, shield for back I.O. panel, user manual and the screw for M2 slot. New Gigabyte B560 HD3 is an ATX form factor motherboard that measures 30.5 for 22.5 cm. The VRM layout features a direct 6 plus 2 phases digital VRM solution with low RDS MOSFET. And on this board, there is a grey brushed metal heat sink at the near the I.O. back panel. As all new B560 boards, it features Intel LGA1200 socket that supports the 11th generation Intel Core i9, i7 and i5 CPUs. 10th generation Intel Core i9, i7, i5, i3 CPU Intel Pentium, Intel Celeron CPUs and in limited way to processor with 4 MB Intel Smart Cache and Intel Celeron G5005 family. Differently from the previously generation B4060, all new B560 boards support overclocking. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM sockets dual channel memory architecture that support 32GB single DIMM capacity up to a maximum to 128GB for 4 DIMM. It supports DDR4 from 2133 MHz to 3200 MHz and to 5333 in overclocking for 11th generation Intel Core i9, i7, i5. If you choose for your configuration one of the 10th generation Intel Core i9 or i7 processors support DDR4 from 2133 to 2933 megahertz memory modules and from 2133 to 2666 memory modules for 10th generation Intel Core i5, i3, Pentium and Celeron processors. In upside there are RGB LED strip header, CPU fan header, water cooling CPU fan header, 8-pin ATX 12V power socket with solid pin for your CPU and the system fan 1 header. Going down on the right side there are addressable LED strip header, 24-pin ATX main power socket, system fan 2, USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, 6 SATA free connectors, THBC1 and THBC2 connectors to connect to a Thunderbolt add in card. In the bottom of Gigabyte motherboard there are front panel audio header, SSPD IF out header, one parallel port header, one serial port header, USB 3.2 Gen header, USB 2.0 header, USB 1.1 headers, Cool flash button with QF LED Cool flash plus. Cool flash plus allow you to update the BIOS when your system is off. Trusted platform module header, system fan free, front panel header, and clear CMOS jumper. Storage options include six SATA free ports and an M2 connector that support type 2260, 2280 and 22110 SATA 
and the PSI 3.044 M2SSD. There is also another M2 connector supporting type 2260, 2280, 22110 PCI 4.0, 4442 or 42 SSD. The motherboard feature expansion slot, one PSI Express for 16 slot, one PCI Express for 16 slot running at 442 PSI Express for 1 slot. This B560 board supports RGB Fusion 2.0, offer users the option to control onboard RGB and external RGB addressable LED light strips for their PC. Unpack the IO panel, we find firstly two USB ports, both USB port support the USB 2.0 1.1 specification and in particular this USB port is only to support QFlash Plus. PS2 keyboard mouse port, the sub port that support a maximum resolution on 1920 for 1200 at 60 Hz. DVI-D port with maximum resolution of 1920 for 1200 at 60 Hz. Display port can support HDCP 2.3 content protection mechanism and a maximum resolution of 4096 for 2300 for at 60 Hz. HDMI port support HDCP 2.3 and Dolby True HD and DTS HD master audio formats and a maximum supporting resolution is 4096 for 2160 at 30 Hz. Four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, RJ45 LAN port, the Gigabyte Ethernet LAN port provides internet connection at up 1 GB per second data rate. Six audio Realtek jacks that includes center subwoofer speaker out, rear speaker out, side speaker out, line in, line out front speaker out, and mic in. Now we talk about the prices. The motherboard is available on retail at price of about 140 euros, 120 pound, 170 US dollar, 2020 Australian dollar at the time of making this video. As usual, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, then leave a like, share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.